What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. For this week's project, I went back to the secret pile of oddities. This is what I came up with. <laughs> this uh, here monstrosity is the top of a heavily groomed weeping cherry tree. Uh, not entirely sure why people try and make trees look like umbrellas, but Fortunately enough for us, when they get removed or they happen to die, this is what we're left with. So I'm actually pretty excited to get inside of this thing. Uh, we should find ourselves some nice figuring. Uh, so first things first, gonna get this outside, do a little slicing and dicing with the uh, chainsaw, get this uh, shaped up, looking more like a blank thinking I can probably get two pieces out of this so uh, let's see what we come up with uh, and, uh, let's get to work I'm thinking this guy. Yep, let's get inside, see uh, our biggest uh, outer diameter we can make. And uh, see what we can do with this. Pretty neat. What's going on, chicken taters? <laughs> chicken taters, huh? Yeah. It's an interesting concept. Get a fresh edge on the rougher. Let's get this guy rounded out. All right guys, so today is the next. I got this pulled out of the vacuum chamber. There was no moisture to be found. So we are good and dry, ready to continue on. Um, after looking at this guy, I think we're gonna be doing a resin pour, um, but I'm not gonna be doing any kind of crazy colors. I'm gonna keep it mostly transparent. I'm just gonna add a little bit of shine because I don't wanna take away from all this beautiful grain. Um, so moving forward, I think I'm gonna take a little bit off the bottom 
go in about a half an inch or so only because it's just going to save us a boatload of resin So I got all the bark picked out of there. Well, at least as far back as we're ever gonna go for making uh, a wall thickness. Uh, pulled that little chunk out there too. It's black, so cool looking. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this set up for a uh, resin pour. Uh, I don't have to make a mold uh, this time around, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Alright, gonna resin all mixed up. Just gonna have a touch, a touch of mic powder. Now Cedric here is going to be pouring the pearl. And I'm gonna be following him behind. Just go short little bursts and move it around. Go from one side, go over to the next side. Today is the next uh, daughter sleeping, so we gotta as quietly as possible get this guy out of the pressure pot, out of the mold, and as always, hope we don't cry. Now our levels dropped fairly significantly, which is a good and a bad thing. Hopefully there was enough in the mold, but it does mean that it flowed down to the bottom. So I'm a little worried about that because our gap around the edge is pretty tight, but uh, we'll see in a minute. Not the best, not the worst result. Got a couple spots we gotta fix up. All right guys, so, um, got a couple secondary fills going on here. Uh, I'm too used to using art resin and I had to revert to some backup stuff. I wasn't originally going to cast this, but I just saw too much potential and uh, doing a casting on this and showing some of this awesome bark and the, the bark line, stuff like that. Um, this stuff didn't flow nearly as well. So with the gap between the mold and the piece, left us with some air pockets uh, down low. But I th think we're gonna get away with it this time. Uh, moving forward, just gonna go ahead and get this cut back down to the wood. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna be using Easy Wood Tools Negative Rake 2 inch square carbide. It's gonna ensure that we don't get any chip out in the resin.
All right, we're pretty well rounded out now. I think I'm just gonna do a standard kind of bowl radius on this. So much beautiful figuring in here. Ugh. Just gotta get under some of these bubbles. Just keep cutting it down, I'm gonna keep tapering. Make a nice little, uh, I don't know, serving bowl. I'm liking it so far though. that good keep on doing what we're doing I'm gonna shape out the bottom looks like our mold flexed when it was in the pressure pot so this is gonna be our low spot so tracing that out we're gonna lose a little bit of this bottom but that just kind of is what it is we're gonna go nice and easy not trying to chatter up this resin gonna be okay shape soft taper nice radius at the bottom I'm gonna go a hood and get a mortise cut in might do a little sanding on the back side figure out when we get there I'm actually gonna take a little break and uh, we'll pick up when we're doing some other stuff but this is really cool it actually reminds me of the uh, the CME coming out of the birch bowl really cool Cool looking heartwood.
guy. So now Cedric's gonna make the brand on this piece since his brother got the opportunity to do another. Now what's gonna happen if you mess it up? Left hand forward, right hand back, up, take your time, Don't. center up, take your time, a little dilute. Stick it flat, stick it flat first, up, down, pull off. <laughs> it makes it that much more special. Right. Oh, that's hot. You're right. You're in love. I need to run. No, you do not. You're going to stand right yours. Oh, what's it say, Duke? Let's see what we're doing. Yeah, I messed up. I got it. Don't you worry, boy. You actually want to milk? Yes, he did. Wow. Not Dad's first rodeo. That's that's ninja eye precision. Babe, that is so on point. It <coughs> really it though. Look like I messed up. I married the right man. Ah. He's good with his hands. Can I say that on YouTube? All right, we're done. All right, so we got our mortise cut in this guy. I got our stamp in. I'm just gonna go ahead. Start sanding the bottom here. It looks like it might be a little tricky to get in there with any kind of pressure. Get this sanded out properly. So um, I'm just gonna work through the process. We're gonna be starting with 60 grit on this one because we got some tear out spots where there's some funky grain coming together. That's to be expected. Uh, but yeah gonna uh, ride through with some 60 work through the grits till we hit 320 and then we're gonna get this flipped around and get to some hollowing engage Send it up to 320 on the outside. Time to get into some hollowing. It's getting late. And we've got to get some work done. Um, so, yeah, let's get this faced off. And then we'll go from there.
right guys we're all hollowed out uh just gonna go ahead get uh the inside sanded out and then we will work it through with uh our finish get this uh resin all polished out but uh yeah looking pretty good so far i'm happy with it lots of beautiful character in there i like it <laughs> guys sanded to 320 inside and out time for some sanding sealer Two coats of sanding sealer later. It's now time for a bit of the axe brace paste. Scotch bright. Knock the sanding sealer down. We'll transition over to the paper towel and start working towards our finish. inspirational quotes this week all I got weird looking bicycle things I don't even know what that's about but uh, uh, I'm exhausted so borderline delirious bicycles are fun So since we got uh, resin involved in this project, I'm really taking my time with the uh, abrasive paste. And I changed something up this time. Um, so as I was using the abrasive paste, like what I would normally do is I'd hand polish on a coat you know scrub it in fire up the lathe run it across and what you're trying to do effectively is you're trying to break down the the grit the abrasive that's in there so i just added a little extra carrier i dampened it and i was just using this uh feeder wax it's just beeswax orange oil and then i just kept running the the abrasive through and um, I only applied the uh, the abrasive paste uh, twice on this. And I just kept carrying it out and just kept carrying it out. 
And then instead of dragging it all off with a dry paper towel, I just kept adding, you know, just a dab, just enough to keep it wet. And I feel like we broke down the abrasive a little bit better. So anyway, just my thoughts, just uh, letting you guys know, you know, just trying to keep getting better is all. Anywho, uh, let's move on. We're uh, gonna move forward with the polish. Let's do that. Probably use the same technique. Just keep rolling it up. Just taking my time. No hurries, no worries. I think this method is working pretty well. I'm not even really doing anything, but just adding the uh, the carrier for the abrasive to fully break down. Did actually a really, really nice job on this resin. One more time with the psychedelic bicycles. Just gonna run the polish one more time and I think we're gonna call it. Um, I think the resin polished out exceptionally and I think this grain speaks for itself. I don't think there's much more to do. Just gonna get it uh, shined up one more time. And then we're gonna take a look at her. thinking that's gonna be enough guys. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and we'll take a look at it. Do a little talking about it. Wow, that's pretty. It's done! Get to the chopper! Let's shake it out! <laughs> oh man, um, in so many ways. I think this one speaks for itself. Oh, what a beautiful piece of wood. Um, I, I couldn't even have hoped for this much character inside of something that wasn't technically even a burl. I guess this, what would we call this? Would this be a, a man-made burl? Just from continuous trimming, training check out my window and I I don't know that I've gotten this kind of clarity in resin without uh, resin coating like the entire piece or micro mesh to be perfectly honest um, slow rollers at the end as usual, you guys can check this one out in uh, much more detail. Uh, what was it? Uh, last week we were approaching uh, 5K and we blew straight on through that. I think we're 53 something or other 
Um, this one is going to be a late release. Uh, I had to burn a day, and it's not necessarily burning a day, but I had to get uh, my stepsons back to their father uh, halfway to Canada from good old Pennsylvania here. Uh, always a uh, heartbreaking kind of thing. Um, if you guys keep me going with your comments, you keep my spirits up, and keep me smiling. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. All, all of your support, every single like, every share, every subscription to this channel is in support of my family, and I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, you guys are keeping us alive, and that is for real. Uh, we need to keep growing, keep sharing, keep doing what you're doing. Love to hear your comments. Let me know what you think about this piece. Uh, let me know what you think about uh, the technique with the abrasive paste. Um, if you want to try out the Axe stuff, uh, Duca10 in their coupon code will get you 10% off of their abrasive paste and polish package. Um, we were using a bunch of the Starbond stuff in this project. Uh, as always, there will be a link in the description. Uh, all purchases off of that link will help us out as well. I will leave a tip jar link in the description as well, in case you want to throw a couple bucks into the uh, shop supplies fund. Um, Thank you guys so much for all your support. I love you guys. See you next week. Let me know what you think about this one.